components, lighting fixtures. We'll start with exterior and then we'll go interior. So if I go to insert, load family, and then I go to the folder that I wish, so I can go to libraries, US Imperial, lighting, architectural, external and internal. Let's go with external. So you have a variety of different types that you can use. Let's go with a bollard and we'll say open to that. Don't want any school buses backing into our dinosaur center. OK, so let's go to architecture. And let's go with a component. So lighting is a component. And then there's the bollard right there. Now you'll notice with the lights that they're not just an object, sort of like an object which provides mass. It actually sheds light as well. So we'll put a couple of these in. And what they're going to do is they're actually going to shine light when we render. So something to watch out for. So we could maybe pick the highest voltage one that we want. Let's put maybe one there. We can spin our view around. We can put one there. These are all ready for Revit MEP to connect to circuits and panels. Maybe we put one there and one there. And we can hit Escape twice. OK, so there's a little bit of exterior ambient lighting. You can also put in sort of a street light. So how do you put lights in? Well, let's go to our ceiling plans first of all, because you're going to put it in the ceiling. And I'm going to go to the main floor ceiling plan. And let's go to component. Now we don't have any lights that are really going to fit into the ceiling. So let's just hit escape twice. Let's go to insert load family. This is just a consistent way to do it. There actually is another way to load families, but for now we're just going to keep it consistent with insert load family. So I'm going to go again to the US Imperial. We're going to go to lighting, architectural, internal, and we can look down here for a troffer. Well, there's a two by two parabolic. That should work. You also have one called the downlight recessed can. You've got spotlights. So I'm going to just hold down control and pick the recessed can and the parabolic two by two. OK, again, they're not there yet. We're going to have to go to architecture, component. These objects, these lights, they're actually looking for a host in most cases. So if I try to put it outside of the ceiling, it doesn't like it. So I'm just going to drop this on maybe here. Now notice it's not snapping to the grid. Everyone who learns Revit for the first time comments about that. They say, hey, why does it not snap to the grid? It doesn't know that there's a grid there yet. We're going to have to show it. So let's just hit Escape a couple times. And we're going to use the Align tool. So let's go up to Align. So Modify in the ribbon. And then this is Align. Click on that. And just click a destination, which is Align on this grid. And then click on your light. And it'll spin it right around and position it. OK, how about we put it right there? Good. And how about we copy it? So let's go to the copy tool and we can pick on the object, hit enter, and then you're working. You can also, if I just hit escape twice, click on the object first, then go to copy. And now you'd be able to copy it around. So I could pick that little intersection and I could copy it. Now, copy by default, it only does one copy and then it stops. So if you just go to copy again, just click on this right here, it's called multiple. And what it'll do is it'll just keep copying that. So there it's there. And now maybe we want one there and there. Now, if I try to copy this into another ceiling, watch what happens. Can't place inserts outside of host. These elements won't be copied. I'm going to hit Escape twice. One, two. And I'm just going to hover over this. Right click, Create Similar. And now I can drop this in. These are the bathrooms. So we could maybe put in one right there. And in here, maybe we'll put in two. And maybe where there's going to be some sinks in that, we might want to put in some pot lights. So we can just go to the type selector and change to what they call a recessed can light. There it is, down light recessed can. OK, so you could drop that in there. We're not sure where the sink is going to be yet, but we'll just drop a light in there. And we can refine that as we go. OK, and then you can also array these and copy these as needed. OK, so we can refine these as we work. But for now, we have light. OK, we also want to put some other lights in here. 
And right now we don't have ceilings in these spaces, so we want to find something that doesn't necessarily need a ceiling to attach to. So we're going to be looking for a generic light. So I'm going to go to open up that initial file we worked on. So let's go to Application Menu Open Project, and let's go to 02 RAC 2013F. Okay, let's go into a ceiling plan on the main floor. Okay, so we have a treasure trove of lights here. This one's called a generic light fixture, a generic linear fixture. Let's just click on it and copy it to clipboard. And we'll go to View, Switch Windows. We'll go to our other project, which is this one right here. Let's go straight to that reflected ceiling plan main floor. Modify, Paste, and align with selected levels. This might be a little difficult. What I'm going to do is just say Aligned to Current View, and then say OK. All right, so that seemed to work. Again, we are going to confirm the exact locations of all this stuff as we go a little bit later. Okay, so we're going to put a few of these lights scattered around. Okay, so for now we know we need light there. We can copy multiple, and we know that we're going to need probably some lighting in here. Put one there, and I'm just going to hit the space bar to rotate it. And then I'm going to copy it down the hall. Okay, so there and there. We could also array that. Okay, let's go back to 3D, and let's take a peek through our window here. Okay, so we can see some lights there. There's our parabolics. There's our linear fixtures. There's our bollards. There's light. 